Visit theretrofuture.co.uk to find all the links you need. Today, we are going to be looking at a parcel that was sent to me by someone. And that someone will soon be revealed. So you may notice I'm in a completely different space. Uh, hopefully the audio doesn't sound too different and the cameras don't look too different. Um, unfortunately, the old studio didn't work, so we upgraded our flat to a two bedroom flat. This is the second bedroom. Hopefully gonna make it all work if you haven't considered donating to my Patreon. This is a parcel from the lovely people over at Retro Modding. And I thought, what better video to make than an unboxing of a present sent to me by a company that sells retro modding parts. I mean, it just couldn't really get any more retro future Christmas than that, could it? So they sent me a letter and it reads, <clears throat> It's been a great year for retro gaming and your presence in the community has been undeniably important. You've been active with us on social media and helped us in making the modding community what it is today. We've been following your videos and love what you've been doing. We wanted to send you a little holiday gift as a means of saying thank you and to provide you with more retro goodies to cover in the new year. 2019 wouldn't have been the same without you and we look forward to continuing this love for retro gaming with you into 2020. As well, we'll be sending a separate spreadsheet your way, outlining everything included here to save you having to sort through it. To save me having to sort through it! My God, they've underestimated my enthusiasm. And figure out what it all is. Thank you and happy holidays from the Retro Modding team. And they've all signed it. That is absolutely adorable. Thank you everyone at Retro Modding team. I hope you guys all have a lovely Christmas yourself. Look at this parcel. Oh my goodness me, I'm excited. Right, let's just not even waffle. I'm just gonna go straight into it. In fact, what we'll do is get everything out. I'm gonna try not to look at it all and we'll just take it all out of the box and put it down. Okay, well, uh, so the first thing we have is a absolutely beautiful T-shirt. That is some seriously high quality stuff right there. And it is of course, a exploded view of a Nintendo Game Boy Advance. You better know I'm gonna be wearing that. It's really cool. I like how it's not a black or a white t-shirt. It's sort of like a gray. Absolutely lovely. And I always need clothes, so thank you very much. Next up, we have this, which is a big pencil case. No, I'm joking. I think it's a pillow cover. And my God, is it luxuriously soft. That is a very high quality thing. I imagine all of this you can buy from their website. They also sent me this pouch. Look at that. That is very snazual. Fantastic. I don't even know where to begin. Let's get these ones out of the way. Um, two pouches, which I imagine are sort of neoprene pouches with their logo printed on it for maybe a Game Boy Pocket or a Game Boy Color uh, or a Game Boy Advance, actually, certainly for that one. That's uh, definitely a Game Boy Advance um, size. So let's just grab this. So in here, we have a Neo Geo Pocket glass screen lens a Game Boy Advance SP Atomic Purple Clear Shell, a Neo Geo Pocket Bracket for the LCD mod, I presume, a 3D printed sort of spacer thing for what looks like a Game Boy Advance, or maybe, or something like that. Let's zoom this camera in a little bit. Um, some absolutely fabulous gold glitter buttons. They are very lovely. A set of orange Game Boy Color buttons, including an orange membrane for the start and select. There's also some black DMG um, buttons. They're always helpful to have. We've also got a little pack of sort of turquoise -y buttons as well. They're quite nice. Um, and then in here, there is a five volt step down slash step up regulator. Yeah, that's probably for a mod. And then we have a GBA rechargeable battery pack. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, that is exciting. We're definitely gonna make a cool video on that. Um, yeah, I'll keep that all sealed and we'll do a video on that separately. That's gonna be amazing. Here is a little uh, keychain, which is very cute, actually. It's a little NES controller, retromodding.com. That's their website. Don't know why I haven't said that yet. And then in here, a plethora of more stuff. So we have a bunch of capacitors, quite a lot of them. That looks like a Game Gear cap set uh, over here. Then we've got some black and 
a sort of a greeny sort of DMG start and select membranes. There's some battery contacts for the Game Boy Color slash Pocket and the DMG. Uh, they're always very helpful. I'm actually running out of ones in good condition for that. There is a DMG Bivert and that is a DMG Bivert chip that I have never seen before. So we'll certainly be using that and seeing if it's any easier than the, uh, the deadpan robot ones that I used. And then there's some start and select buttons and shoulder buttons and action buttons for the Game Boy Advance SP in there. A GBA speaker, that is interesting. That could be like a pro sound mod for the GBA. Um, some more fabulous glitter DMG buttons. I'm presuming they're sort of molding them themselves. I've never seen that before. And if they're doing that, that is really cool. A bunch of wires attached to a GB accelerator. Wow, is that for like a speed? Um, adjustment mod that that looks interesting and then finally another um, 5 volt step up step down regulator in here we have a lovely turquoisey green shell really really cool color hopefully that's translating well on the video I don't know and then a gold glitter DMG shell this is unbelievable like what is even happening right now how did I get here uh, <laughs> Then there is a black, oh, that's a Samus um, DMG shell. That's really very smart. I hope that's Samus. That's definitely Samus. It's Metroid, right? I'm gonna upset someone, I think. Here is a black Game Boy Color, a smoky black translucent Game Boy Color. Lovely. And in here, oh my God, no way. They've sent me a GBA IPS LCD mod and a GBC IPS L mod, LCD mod. Wow, two LCD mods there that are very expensive and well actually not not too expensive cons compared to like the original AGS 101 screen but still 30 40 quid each I'd say something like that. There's a translucent blue sort of a, an ocean blue um, Game Boy Advance shell and another screen. This is another Game Boy Advance. Oh no, this is a good Game Boy Advance SP IPS LCD mod. What? This is insane. Oh my god. Okay, I think, oh we missed this. This is just a pack of uh, black Game Boy Advance um, sort of button, buttons and, and bits and bobs, so that's cool. Another silvery, glittery, fabulous shell. I've definitely got to make like the most fabulous Game Boy and then send it off to someone. That would be really funny. And then there's an NES DMG. Very, very clever idea. Super smart. I wonder if that's printed on or if that's a sticker. We'll have to find out in a future video, but it looks high quality regardless. We've got some DMG slash Game Boy Pocket backlights. They're lovely. Don't mind if I do these. And then a pack of glass screen lens replacements. Wow. All right. And on to the final one. Here we go. We've got an easy flash. What? No way. And you can either have it as the Nintendo DS sort of macro um, easy flash or the Game Boy Advance one. And there is a Game Gear glass screen lens. Look at all of this stuff. What the heck? Thank you so much, Retro Modding. This has been a very nice Christmas so far. And it's actually Christmas Eve the day that I'm filming this, but wow. Okay, first and foremost, Expect a video very soon on all three of these IPS screen mods. Literally, probably next week, I'll have all three of these videos out. That is very exciting. I've got shells to make all of those happen. So that will all happen literally like this. <laughs> so if you're watching this video, um, that's a bit of a spoiler. And then all the other stuff is just gonna take me some time to get through. But retro modding, you have provided the Retro Future channel and my audience with some very cool content. Huge, huge thank you. And everyone in the comments, please leave a big thank you to Retro Modding. Check out their website. This is obviously not sponsored, but there's at least probably $300 worth of, con of content here, not to mention the fact that this is DHL'd over to me. And I can't afford to always spend that amount of money. So huge thank you to these guys. Massive, massive thank you to all of you for this year, for watching me and for subscribing. I do really, really appreciate every single one of you. I hope you guys have a lovely Christmas and I'll catch you in all of these videos. Peace. Oh, and let me know what you think of those new studio setups.